Massage guns like this have exploded onto the market and this is by far the teeniest and cheapest one that I've ever used and reviewed, but is it worth it? Are you sacrificing power? And should you just get the full size massage gun? In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Sharper Image Compact Sport Percussion Massage Gun so that you can know if it's worth it for you to get. So let me show you what's in the box. It has a really super nice presentation. You open it like so. And the percussion massage gun is right here. It comes already charged with a bit of a charge. So you can get going on that. And it comes with this first attachment attached to it. It's a flathead hard attachment. There's four other attachments on here. You got your standard round foam. It's that hard foam. Then you have this one that's supposed to simulate like simulate a thumb. And then you have the the U-shaped one that is supposed to be for the muscles down the spine, or you could really use it anywhere you want, but it's two small, round, hard plastic prods. And then you've got a carrying case here. So it's not a hard case, it's a soft case. It all fits in there. And then your charger cable right in here. It's a USB, the, the old USB and the new USB and it plugs in on the new USB side so you can charge it. That doesn't come with a block, of course, but that's everything that is in the, the box. Now, let me tell you some pros and cons of the Sharper Image Mini Compact Percussion Massager. Um, it is definitely a lot lighter than the big one. It feels so much smaller in your hand compared to the big one. The, the, you can get your thumbs and fingers around it a lot easier. And um, you know, the materials of it also feel a lot better. I do have the larger Sharper Image Percussion Massage Gun. And I've got the large Sharper Image Percussion Massage Gun here to compare with the small one. Definitely a lot bigger in size. But this one is kind of dense. It's got some good weight to it. It's lighter than the big one, um, but it's now that I'm holding both and comparing them at the same time, they're not too far off in weight. Um, now, the outside of this feels very different. This is like a, a smooth plastic, almost rubber feeling. The handle's definitely got a rubber feel to it, but even the, the rest of the device has a rubbery feel. And this one feels, it's, it's an, uh, an, uh, an alloy casing is what the, the packaging said. And to give you the best description, it feels like an Apple product, like the outside of a MacBook or a, a, an iPhone on the back. That's, that's the kind of feel that this has. The massage ball heads, the, the attachments are about the same size, so pretty comparable. This is definitely going to be better for smaller hands and because it's got slightly less power than the big one, um, if you have smaller muscles or smaller limbs, this is probably going to be easier on your body than the big one. I personally love the feel of this case. It just, it just feels nice in your hand. Not that the other one, the, not that the big massage gun doesn't feel nice, but I just prefer this one right here. Now let's talk some cons for this device. Um, it definitely has less power than the big gun and the battery life on this one is about two hours. This one's about four and a half hours for the big gun. Now, as far as noise, I'm going to turn them both on at the same time here. Here's the small gun on the lowest setting. That's the highest setting right there. We got four power settings on this one. We have six settings. It's just slightly louder than the smaller one. I don't think it's that big of a difference, but if it matters to you. The big gun comes with six attachments, the small gun comes with four attachments, so if you want more options for attachments, um, you're going to have to go with a bigger one, although you saw the attachments that come with this one, pretty standard attachments. Now let me give you my honest opinion about this mini compact massage gun. I think it's got excellent power for its size. If, it's, if this is your first massage gun that you're gonna get, or you're just looking for something that you can travel with, this is super good. I love the size of it. It's got great power. I, I, if you really, really want a deeper massage, a, uh, you, know, you like the power, then you're gonna wanna go with a big gun and spend the more money on it. Um, the big gun will run you anywhere from 50 to $100 more depending on sales and where, where exactly you get it. I've got a link to this one it, for Amazon in the description below. You, that's where, where I got this gun at. And you can get them at department stores sometimes. I've seen these at Costco, at Sam's, those kinds of places. And you know, Kohl's, the big department stores generally carry something like this, the compact one and the big one. 
And where these guns shine is they definitely take a load off your hands because if you have stiff muscles anywhere, whether it's your back, your legs, your arms, if you put this on a stiff muscle to loosen it up like this, you can really make a difference in how free that muscle feels, which can allow your joints like your knee, your hip, or if you put this on your back, it can allow your back to feel better so that you don't have to tire out your hands or ask a partner to rub your back or your leg or whatever it is and you can get some relief without having to take as much pain medications or rely on going to the doctor for injections. And hopefully this puts you in a position where you can do exercises that can help you cure the long-term problem because this is really just a short-term relief solution, although it's a pretty effective one to loosen up stiff muscles. Now you don't wanna put this on a joint where there's bones, this is to be used on muscles, and you definitely don't want to put this on a nerve. If you put this on a spot where you feel like you're getting a, a jolt of pain going down your, your arm or up your arm or up and down your leg, that's probably a nerve, and you don't want to be vibrating a nerve and putting pressure through a nerve. You can irritate it more. Overall, I think this is a solid purchase if you want to get one of these. They're super compact. I love how, how fun it feels in your hand. Um, and if you're just using this for your own personal use, two hours, two hours of battery life should last you a good while. Just stick it back on the charger once you're done. You'll probably never run out of battery life. I hope this review was helpful for you in making your decision to purchase a, a certain massage gun, whether it's this one or another one. I just want to give you the best information I can, especially coming from a physical therapist perspective, so that you can make the best decisions for your health. Thanks so much for watching. Please give us a thumbs up if this was helpful for you. Please consider subscribing to our channel. We make videos with advice, tips, exercises, and stretches for a variety of conditions. Just go to our playlist to figure out all the conditions that we have videos for and turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of the videos we post each and every week. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.